Hank, it has been told that you went to London together with Bruce Wells with six pounds and ten shillings. It's about 910 francs, 910 Belgian francs in your pockets, trying to make it as guitar players. But that you have known very lean days. Is this true? And how did the shadows really start? Yes, that's true. Bruce and I came down, as you've just mentioned, and uh, we played in coffee bars, uh, singing and playing guitars, and then we formed several groups, and eventually we met Cliff. And uh, Cliff at this time was beginning to sing as a professional, and he just made a record, Move It, and we joined up with Cliff, and as you know, from then on we've been yes, with him. from the first record yes. home. When the Beatles age started, the world was under the impression that the shadows began losing popularity. What did you think about it, and what is your opinion now? Well, I, th I like the Beatles. In fact, we all like the Beatles. And uh, I think they're a good thing because they were different from the type of music that was going on at that time. And it's given a new life into the business of groups and singers. Everyone now has more songs to sing, and uh, there's, there's many more groups that have come up now. It's more interesting. and. Um, it hasn't really affected us at all because, as you know, we're mainly instrumental yeah. and they're vocal, so it doesn't particularly affect us. No, and the latest record, Team for Young Lovers, is a hit. In it's England, the yes. We're in here? Well, it becomes a hit on the moment. I hope so. <laughs> uh, you share bad and good days with Cliff Richard. Mm -hmm. Tell me something about Harry Webb. Harry Webb. <laughs> well, we know Cliff, Harry, as you know. always as Cliff. Yes. Never as Harry. <laughs> no, never as Harry. No, always as Cliff. Yeah. Uh, there have been many changes in the composition of the shadows. Has this affected morale, or do you succeed in overcoming this handicap easily? Well, it presents certain problems. You know, first of all, you you feel when when, for instance, Jet or Tony Meehan left, that the fans may not like it. And at first, they didn't, but they soon grew to accept the new member. Yeah. You see, and we found it didn't really affect us. And then, uh, of course. Licorice left, and John Rostel is now with us. And again, there's been no uh, upsetting of the fans. They still find it okay. Well, uh, the best of luck for you all. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.